Lacrosse can be perceived as a war on grass. Considered as one of the most physical sports played across the UK, it is a full contact sport with all players required to wear helmets, gloves, shoulder pads and elbow pads. The players are allowed to use their lacrosse sticks almost as a weapon to block, strike and manoeuvre their opponents across the field. The physical nature of lacrosse can lead to injuries, with common injuries including concussion, cuts and bruising. The skills required in the sport involve high levels of hand-eye coordination, great fitness and the vision and awareness to move the ball around the field of play. Played at such a high intensity, with so much physicality involved, it is easy to see why it takes so much skill to become a good lacrosse player. What does it take to be a lacrosse player? What does it take? Um, well, it's quite, it's quite a physical sport. Um, You've you got to expect to be, to be hit a few times, you know, give as good as you get. Um, it's, it's a very fast-paced sport as well. It's very up and down. Um, so a lot of endurance is required. Um, and also it's a, it's, it's a very team-based sport as well. You can't just be willing to play in it and get out, you know, what you want to get out for it for yourself. You've got to play for the team and, and give it all for your team, really. What, what does it take to be a lacrosse player? Um, it's a different sport. Not a lot of people are used to what the sport is. It takes, you need to be athletic. You also need good stick skills. You need to not be scared. It's a real range of... Uh, attributes which it takes to be a lacrosse player but a lot of it is time and dedication because you're practicing the same thing over and over again which like most sports you're doing but definitely all those attributes. The sport is continuing to grow year by year across the UK with statistics showing that over 36,000 people participated in lacrosse for at least 30 minutes per week either through physical education at school, playing competitively or just recreationally. However, there is still work to be done, with the sport not played much competitively outside the areas of London and Greater Manchester, lacrosse has the potential to become a nationwide sport. Manchester was selected to host the 2018 World Lacrosse Championships, but after consideration of the financial sustainability of lacrosse in England, the city had to withdraw from the hosting of the Games, with it being awarded to Israel instead. This would have been a huge opportunity for the sport to grow across the UK, with some of the top teams in the world coming to showcase their talents in a festival of lacrosse. How do you think is the best way for a sport to grow in this country? Oh, that is a good question. Um, I'd probably say um, getting good coaches at the at the lower level so people's games can develop the sooner, sooner the better. Also, good facilities is probably the key. Uh, I've had a lot of Americans that have you know come over and played for us and said that when they're playing for the university and they're playing on 3G pitches, it's a miles better standard and the English game will benefit so much more if on Saturdays the club, the club games were played on 3G or you know, turf pitches like that as opposed to you know, boggy pitches that are up to your ankles in mud with. What would be the best way for the sport to grow in England? Sports to grow. So at the moment we're sort of competing with the other sports, so the bigger sports like your footballs and your rugby. Maybe to find our own season, so where it doesn't compete with other sports, maybe a different day. And also just publicised, it's not very big outside of Manchester or London, so it's mainly publicised it throughout all areas of the UK. The Manchester Metropolitan University men's lacrosse team is one of the best around, with the squad bursting talent from the England lacrosse team. The coach, Ryan Sweetman, also comes from a talented background, representing Brooklyn's lacrosse in the North of England League and the England national team. They currently sit top of their table in the Bucks Northern League, having played nine games and winning them all, scoring 135 goals and conceding just 35. This follows on from the success of last year's campaign, where the team achieved the double of a League and Cup victory, with this year set up to finish in a similar winning fashion.